Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This is going to be the single most important video for CSINET life science preparation. Yes, period, I repeat it. Single most important video that you are going to see in YouTube, you are going to see anywhere else. Because today we are going to talk about CSINET life science unit wise marks distribution, which is also as a unit wise weightage pattern. I have made videos earlier regarding the same topic 2-3 years ago, but now this time with most current uh, CSINET last 10 papers analyzed, I have analyzed it for you, I have done all the hard work, only I want to release this on my 2 million subscriber special. So this video is 2 million subscriber page special video for all my subscribers, for all the CSINET aspirants out there. You watch this video because I am going to decipher all the different units, so I will take you to my screen and I'll show you exactly what I meant by this. Actually, I have this uh, table, I have this uh, Excel sheet opened up for you. And here I'll uh, tell you all the 13 units are placed here, units are mentioned. And here you can see the number of average questions you can expect from these units, average or uh, below uh, average, whether it's average or below average, that is something mentioned here, I'll hide it. Uh, the weightage, the percentage weightage for that particular unit is mentioned and the trend for those uh, questions asking from those units are mentioned out there. I'll explain it all at once, uh, you know, small steps at a time. The first thing that I'll explain is the percentage weightage of the unit. The second thing that I'll talk about is the trend that whether the number of questions asked from that unit is being increased over past 10 exams or decreasing or remaining flat. We'll also talk about whether the number of questions asked from that unit is above average or below average. So let's start. So you can see that uh, if you uh, clearly see unit 1, uh, above or below average, above average unit. So obviously you should prepare this unit, always go with this. Unit 2, below average unit. Unit 3 above average, unit 4 above average, unit 6 above average, unit 5 is an average unit uh, as per uh, our indication of last 10 years question, uh, last 10 questions papers. Unit 6 above average, unit 7 above average, unit 9 below average, unit 11 below average and unit 12 below average. So if I point out the below average units here with uh, the red highlights, uh, orange or red whatever, let's take this red highlights then it will be unit 2 which is a uh, below average unit 9 should be here with this uh, below average okay uh, then we have unit 11 and 12 both with below average so four below average units are mentioned unit 2 unit 9 unit 11 and unit 12 these are four below average unit now if you look at its trend among below average unit, unit 2 has a flat tre trend. So that means the number of questions asked from unit 2 through all the 10 year question paper almost equal. Unit 9 has an up, uh, it's having an uptrend. So number of questions asked from unit 9 is increasing. So it can become average unit after maybe one or two net examination. Unit 11 is showing flat trend and unit 12 is showing downtrend. Already a below average unit and showing a downtrend. So among all the four below average unit, the least important one is unit 12. So what I can say, uh, if you want to leave one unit for CSI life science examination, leave one unit that is unit 12. Okay, you can leave unit 12. Sometimes, you know, why unit 12 is something like this? Because direct question uh, from unit 12 is very rare. Generally, the questions are punched with unit 13 and also techniques related problem. That's why it's punched. That's why we cannot get a direct question from it. So if you leave only one unit, that should be unit 12. Now, if you leave four units, those should be unit 2, 9, 11, and 12. 2, 9, 11, and 12. Apart from these four units, as per our study, all the other units are above average in performance, means the number of questions that they ask from that unit are always above average, and you should always prepare those units. Without preparing those units properly, you cannot qualify. Now, among the above average or average units, do we have any downtrend? Yes, unit 4 is showing a little weakness, a little downtrend uh, as what uh, we understood from the previous 10 question papers. Rest uh, mostly are flat. Unit 10 is showing an uptrend. Rest is fine. So downtrend is for unit 4. So if you have trouble finishing up unit 4, there is a good news because it's getting downtrend and unit 10 is getting uptrend. So always, always prepare unit 10. I always tell my students, always prepare unit 10. Okay, keep that in your mind. So now if I rank most to least important units, I can do that for you. Again, I'll simply 
So uh, now select. if I'm going to select uh, the most important unit to least important unit for you, then I'll simply do this. I'll do this uh, filter. I'll add the filter out there and I'll put the percent weightage from Z to A. Uh, see number of question from Z to A. We are going to get this percentage weightage calculation from here. You can clearly see the percentage weightage value and which are most important units, which are least important units. The list is here in front of you. Okay. So based on the number of average number of questions we can expect from that unit. Okay. I have listed this. And you see the least four one is unit 9, 11, 2 and 12. The, so the most important is unit 3, then unit 6, then unit 13. These three are the maximum importance. So I'll put them as a green color. They are of maximum importance. Uh, then unit 8 and 7 is uh, according to us, uh, according to our color grading would be, I'll put it uh, as blue blue means still they are important they are the next to green and i'll put the rest 1 10 4 and 5 as yellow yellow so this is my color coding okay so most three important units are unit 3 unit 6 and unit 13 so let me write it down the most important unit 3 unit 6 and unit 13 for you most important set the second set uh, is unit 8 and 7 Unit 8 and 7, both are equally important. The next uh, is uh, the, the, the yellow colored one is 1, 10, 4 and 5. 1, 4, 5 and 10. Okay, But not in that order. I should place in order 1, 10, 4 and 5. Okay, these are. And the least important ones in the red color here are 9. Uh, so I can... Uh, right here 9 10 9 11 2 and 12 9 11 2 and 12 okay so this should be the sequence so sequence 3 6 13 8 7 1 10 4 5 then 9 11 2 and 12 now if you wish to cut the whole syllabus short for you that most of you ask always sir we prepare only 8 units or 10 units or 12 uh, units like that so you can um, remove units from the back. So if you remove only one unit, that should be unit 12. If you want to remove two units, then it is unit 2 and 12. That's why in our Shomo's Biology Blueprint book, we have a red book, least important units, and that is unit 2 and unit 12. Okay. So those two units you can say, uh, uh, separate. Then what else uh, you can separate if you want to remove three units, that is unit 2, 12, 9 or 11 between 9 or 11 they are same category so you can uh, deselect any one for my uh, point of view remove 9 because there are more memory based questions 11 is still something that you can hang on to so if someone preparing 10 units then i'll recommend you to go with first 10 except for the 9 add 11 to it put the 9 a uh, little below that so 9 to and 12 this three units you should leave Okay, this is the guidance that you require. You don't need to do anything else. All the hard work has been done. The previous year's 10 question papers been analyzed. You can do that yourself. You check yourself and you'll find out this data. This is a very, very eye-opening data, most important data for all of you. Uh, and I, I released this video because I believe, like I made this video for my coaching students, but I release it for all of the individuals because of the occasion of 2 million subscribers. I like to thank all of you for helping me throughout these years more than a decade i've been running this youtube channel and i'll run that even years to come so stay tuned and get more videos like that in future if you like this video please hit the like button smash the like button out there subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye